The bees are here. The bees are here. No, no, no. I'm not scaring you. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. We have been waiting for nukes to arrive for our apiary. And finally, they arrived. Welcome to another episode of Hacks and Hobbies. So we have been waiting for our bees to arrive, our nukes to arrive for our apiary. And as you probably heard on earlier episodes, the temperature, the weather has not been cooperative for a nuke transfer. The weather has been cold, rainy, and we don't like to get out in the cold weather. <laughs> Humans don't like to get out in the cold weather, but we have to to get to work, to get to school, etc. Uh, bees like to stay indoors when the weather is when the temperature is below 50 degrees, 55 degrees. Anytime it goes above and it's not windy, that's another factor right, that that I, that I um, realized and uh, learned about is that if it's windy, bees, they're just not going to bother because their maximum flying speed is about 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. So if it's windy out there um, and the bees have to get back, they will make it back, but they're not going to go out to forage. Um, So got the bees delivered today around... 10.30 10.30 in the morning. Um, good friend, Vincent Penn of uh, Ape of Alexandria. He uh, was looking, uh, he, yesterday he mentioned that he was looking out the window and he saw that his bees were swarming. And he's like, all right, time to nuke them. And uh, sent them out. So I've got to get that going what am I saying so he uh, he contacted me he's like hey uh, I have been talking to him uh, for the past few days and he said the weather's not been good I haven't been ha- I haven't had a chance to go out and look so yesterday he was like all right these bees are ready to go let me know and I can package them up and bring them up tomorrow uh, for you so boom that happened. He brought him here. He was generous enough to bring him over and install him for me. I could have installed him myself, but because the weather uh, shifting quickly, it was sunny and then it quickly became cloudy. Uh, he's, you know, I, I, I let the experienced person uh, take care of that business. Although I had done a transfer, a migration from a nuke box to a regular box for my mentor. Uh, a few weeks ago. So we got the bees in there. Uh, we covered them up and we just left them alone because the temperature, you know, dropped, getting cloudy. Bees don't like being in the open when that's the weather looking like. So got the bees in there. Now, I had built 10 frames. Uh, he exchanged his five frames for my brand new five frames. So I'm like, that's perfectly fine for me. I've got more frames that I can build. And then I've got my um, other frames. So I've got 10 frames in this hive. And now I need to go and build 10 more, uh, maybe 15 more. I don't know. I need to uh, build them up ahead of time so I'm ready when the bees are starting to grow faster. So I'm going to go back in the uh, hive in a few days uh, because... We want to stay out of it and let, let them keep the heat in there. Um, I'll probably have my mentor come visit my my apiary as well and uh, see what's going on. But yeah, that's all I have to report for now. Uh, I did grab some footage off of the GoPro camera of us uh, putting the hive in and where it's located. It's, uh, it's a nice spot. Um, Vincent was 
so excited to see how big the yard was because he doesn't have much of a yard for his apiary. And he's like, Be these bees are going to love it. There's so much flowers out. The pollen is the pollen is out. And as soon as you see clovers, yellow clovers on the ground, in the grass, it means the bees are out foraging. The bees are out collecting nectar and pollen. So, yeah, per, pretty excited. Um, check back tomorrow for some more updates. Uh, well, um, actually, you know what? So I had the boxes built. What I had forgotten to do was paint. So I was like, oh, crap, I need to paint these boxes because they're going to be out in the open. And um, you want to protect the life of the wood as long as possible. So I found some exterior paint that I had in the basement. Uh, and I took it out and it was perfectly fine. Uh, ultra white color and bees like white color. I think it's almost off white. So I started painting. I painted two boxes last night. I was like, you know, why not? Uh, let's see if they cure enough for the morning. Um, so last night I painted the boxes, painted the bottom board, and uh, didn't get a chance to paint the top cover, which is a quick fix. I have uh, two top, top covers. One I'll paint today and then uh, tonight and then put it on there. So yeah, that's um, that's what's up uh, at the apiary, at the Humble Zone Apiary, I think we should call it. We'll see. We'll figure out a name for it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the update for now. Thanks for listening in. And um, just to give you a lick of uh, some 80s music, uh, here's one of the songs that's been on my playlist for some time. It's called Voices Carry by Till Tuesday. Yep, it's a, it's a funny name, but it, they, it's an awesome song. Now, if you have Apple Music subscription, you'll get to listen to the whole song. Otherwise, you'll hear 30 seconds of the clip, and then you can uh, grab the, the link to the song and, and either purchase it or you know check the rest of the song out on YouTube. It's up to you. Uh, the song is Voices Carry by Till Tuesday. Till next episode, talk to you guys later. Bye.